Hello friends, my name is Philip and in this video I will show you my new daily workout planner I have created for Notion. Why did I actually create this template? Well, I was searching for a workout planner that was or that is actually capable of showing me the status of the exercises. So I want to see immediately if I have exercised enough in the last week and if I have exercised enough the specific uh, muscle groups in the last weeks. Therefore, we start here in this template with an overview of the different muscle groups, of the most important muscle groups for my workouts. And in this template, I can actually combine the muscle groups with exercises. For example, I've done it here with a dummy exercise. It's the bicep crunches that are training the abs. And here you see actually a traffic light. And the traffic light is showing you if you have worked out enough or not in the last days. The system is really easy. If the light is green, you have done enough repetitions for that exercise. If it's orange, now the status is orange, uh, you have done some, uh, some repetitions, but you could do more. And if it is red, you have not started working out this exercise or you should do much more repetitions to actually change the status to orange or green. How does it actually work? I will show you now. First, you have to choose the exercises you want to do in the next weeks or months. Here you see an overview of all the exercises that are actually saved in this template. But if you think, okay, I want to do a specific exercise and yeah, it's not shown here in the template, you can easily just add a new exercise here and combine it with the respective muscle group. That can be easily done and just takes about 10 to 15 seconds. But I will delete it again because at the moment I have all the exercises I need for my personal workout. Now uh, you see bicycle crunches is actually activated and I want to do more exercise of course because I want to train different muscle groups. For example, I want to have chin ups as well. I want to do, let's say, elbow lifts and maybe some cardio exercise. Where's cardio? Ah, here, jogging. I want to do jogging as well. Now, if you have selected all exercise, you can now click here next or you just use the side menu and click on set time interval. And here in the instruction, I'm actually saying that you should set the interval between one or three months because less than one month, if you're just training uh, one exercise for less than one month, it's probably not enough time to see the results. But if you train for more than three months, you probably want to change the, the exercise or uh, change um, the volume of the exercise because you want to get new training stimuli uh, for your muscle. Now we see here all the exercises we have selected before and we need to select um, a date, a time range. Uh, we start with the start date. I will change it a little bit. Let's say we start today and we start with all the exercises today. And I want to do it for yeah, about one month, maybe a little bit longer. Let's say till end of August is going to be my plan for August. Um, I'm actually changing it a little bit because otherwise if we just start today, actually you will later see that there's actually, that we, we don't need to do any repetition today. So our training will start tomorrow. So let's say that we start at the beginning of the week on the 26th, um, here 26th. And now we have done it, we can click next or we just go to training intensity. Training intensity. So you don't need the instructions because I will, I'm going to explain it to you. So that's your training plan. So first we decide how often we want to actually um, work out this exercise. For example, bicycle crunches, maybe we do it twice a week. Chin ups, we do it three times a week elbow lifts three times as well. And we want to go jogging just once a week. And how many sets are we doing 
uh, during every workout. Uh, bicycle crunches, we do three sets. Chin ups, we do, let's say, two sets. Uh, elbow lifts, two sets again. And jogging, well, in jogging, we don't have sets actually. So we just go jogging once. So we just type in here one because it's like one set. If it's an interval exercise like interval running, you just type in the number of intervals you are doing. For example, I want to do four intervals. So in that case, you type in four. But here we are just going for a long chalk. So one is the number we need here. And reps, repetitions um, or minutes. What is this? That's the number of repetitions per set. For example, bicycle crunches, we do 10 per set. Chin-ups, let's say 10 as well. Elbow lifts, um, let's say 10. And jogging, so we don't do repetitions here, but we do minutes. That's the reason for slash minutes. And let's say we go running for 60 minutes once a week. And completed reps. Well, that's actually not important here, but you see this property here because if you see, okay, there's a number, yeah, just remove the number because you have not started yet this training interval and you start the zero or you, so you can type in zero or you just leave it blank. It doesn't matter actually. And now we have defined a workout plan. Of course, if you have a workout coach, he can give you a personalized training plan and you can just type in the exercises and the volume of the exercises into this dashboard. Now we have planned our workout, so we are actually ready to do our first workout. And for doing that, we are going to track workout. So we can now do our first workout. And if you see, if we do our, and if we do all repetitions that are required according to our plan, now we have 10 reps per set and three reps, we would have like 30 repetitions and the status is green. And for example, we are going jogging for 60 minutes. We are typing in 60 and we're green here as well because we're just required according to plan. We're just behind 19 minutes. So we could actually wait till the end of the day before the first run is required. But it's actually not a bad idea to actually have some kind of head start and do the first exercises before it's required. And yeah, let's type in the data. I think it's 30 for all of it. And it's actually um, required repetitions. It's 19 everywhere. Actually, um, let's set maybe a different training intensity. For example, 120 minutes and we track it again. Now you see uh, the required reps or minutes doubled. So you can always adjust actually the intensity of your workouts. If you see, ah, I planned a much too high volume and I have don't have time for it, you can always decrease the required reps or minutes of your workouts during a training interval. Or if you, if you think, okay, it's too easy, I'm always finishing everything and I feel a little bit bored, well, you can easily just um, the, uh, increase the number, the intensity of your training. Now let's say, okay, we did 60 minutes of running, 30 elbow lifts, 30 chin-ups, but yeah, we failed a little bit with the bicep crutches. We just did, let's say 15. So the status will be orange. So if we type here 10, it is still orange because it's a little bit more than the half of the required reps. But if we type in just nine repetitions, it will change to red because now we have done less than half of the required repetitions. You can see your status, your workout status here in the status view. Here you see the progress. So you have done 10% of required exercises in 6% of the time. So actually you've done more than required so you can rest for the next days. Just the bicycle crunches, you have just done 3% of required uh, reps in 6% of the time. So you should do a little bit more to get into the green again, into the green status again. Ideally, you should work out your whole body and you should actually choose exercises for all the muscle groups and try to keep them in green 
as much as possible. And if you see that your view is changing to orange, you get the immediate feedback that you should work on that specific exercise for this muscle group to meet your workout goal. This is my daily workout planner. I hope you liked it. <laughs> if you liked it, you can get your template on Gumroad. The link is in the description. And if you have feedback or some suggestions for my template, yeah, just write a comment. I'm happy to talk to you and you can also get into contact with me on Twitter. That's my video for today. All the best. See you soon and have a successful workout. Bye bye, your Philip.